Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create your own portfolio dashboard for crypto on Excel. You'll notice that you'll be able to refresh it as many times as you want compared to some solutions which will limit you to a few number of times per 24 hours. So let's dive into it. But first of all, make sure to watch my video on how to get live crypto data on Excel because you'll need the IQI files that uh, I explained to you how to get from that video. I'll put the description in the link. So this is basically the kind of dashboard that you'll get at the end. Uh, it's a s simple version of it. You'll be able to add other columns with the data that we'll show you afterwards. So first of all, you're going to need to start from scratch. So here is the columns that you're going to be using at first. So you've got the name, the token, the holdings. So that's going to be 25%, 75%, stuff like that. The quantity, it's the actual number of coins that you hold. It's average buying price in euros and in dollars. It's actual price in dollars your portfolio value in dollars, so meaning the actual price in dollars times your quantity. The change compared to when you bought it, that is the column that you're, everyone's interested in really. And its value in dollars. So let's say here you gain 10%, maybe that means $4,000 here. So first of all, you're going to be needing those IQI files with the Bitcoin info and the Ethereum info and the Euro USD price. So I got basically Bitcoin and Ethereum from uh, CoinMicroCap. So this is your address. I'll put it in the description. Same for Ethereum. Oh, it's not showing it. And your Euro USD one too, it's on Yahoo Finance something. So I'm gonna go into source, just create a new tab for that. Go to data, get external data, run web query. You're going to use the three. So first I'm gonna put Bitcoin, keep it all as is, click on okay. It's gonna be fetching the data. I usually leave a column here just for the purpose of reading it uh, more easily. Do the second one. Again, same thing. Get external data. Run the web query. Ethereum. Okay. And that's where I usually put them one after the other here with all the coins. And underneath, I'm going to add the euro USD price, which is here. Still not showing it, but I'll put it in the description. Also, it's just basically to have here the, 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 the price difference so that I know that right now, one euro is equal to 1.09 USD. So here's all the info that you get, basically. I didn't put it at the top, stupid of me. Uh, so it's priced right now, the price change within the 24 hours. You can see you've got loads of data that you could actually compare. So the fully diluted market cap, its market cap, the volume, loads of stuff. And depending on the way you get your information, you'll get other data. So I'm using coin market cap here, but by all means, use whatever you find best. So now we can jump into the portfolio creation. I've put here the different calculations you need to do for some of the columns. So first of all, holdings, you don't need to fill in right now. Quantity, this is the information that you have from your exchange on where you bought your coins. So let's say that for Bitcoin, I have bought 0 0.005 Bitcoin that my average buy price in euro was, uh, let's say that I was lucky and bought it at 30,000 euros. Actually, that's not lucky, but it's better than right now. And that's it for the moment. So same thing for Ethereum. Let's say that I bought 0 0.01. 
and that I bought it at 2000. Now, you're going to go and actually use the data from here. So, we want to know what, well, first of all, the average buy price in dollar is. So, it's going to be the average buy price in euros times that 1.09 that we saw earlier on. So, you're going to put equal, select the amount here, times, which is the star, go to source, where was it? Here, and I'm going to use this one. Hit enter. And I'm going to show you afterwards how to change the value, why it's showing you this. Same thing underneath, so equal, oh, didn't do it properly, equal this, There you go. Actually, I'm going to show you right now how to get these value changed. Once you're in source, there's one tricky thing. Each time you're going to be adding the data, it's always going to be this way. So with a typed dollar sign in front, commas and points. We don't want that in our, in our portfolio afterwards. So what you're going to do is once that you refresh the data, so if you click refresh all each time, so do you get the most updated data. After that is done, you're going to hit Command A twice, basically select all the data that you have here. Hit Maj Command H to find the replace, um, this replace tab. I think you should find it somewhere uh, in these otherwise. So first, we're going to find the dollar sign and replace it with nothing. Hit replace all, good. So like that, you see that it's disappeared in front. Next, we want to not have that comma between thousands anymore. So you're going to hit comma, replace it with nothing, replace all. Done, cool. Last one, replace this point with a comma. Point and replace it with a comma. Replace all. Boom. Done. And then you can close it. It's all you have to do. If we go back to the portfolio, there you go. You've got the the actual data in dollars. We'll do the um, putting it in shape afterwards. Now, the actual price in dollars, we've got it in the other page. So, equal, go to a source. Bitcoin price right now is here. We know that it was in dollars. Hit enter and you get it. Same thing for Ethereum. Source, price, boom, you have it. All right, now let's move on. So we can do the portfolio value in dollars, which is going to be the actual price times the quantity. There you go, same thing for Ethereum. Star for times, quantity, there you go. And then you will be able to put the dollars, or we can do it now, actually. It's in home, so put this and pick, dollars not here. Pick the symbol and it's the last one, there you go, okay. Now you can see it's in dollars. Same thing here. Where's it gone? Okay. Now, uh, the change. Well, obviously, that is going to be the actual price divided by the average price minus one, so do we get the percentage? So equals, in brackets, actual price in dollars, divided by the average by, close the brackets, minus one, there you go. Here it's automatically in green, I'll show you again how to do that. And same thing here, so equals, open the brackets, actual price divided, so slash, the average by price, 
close the brackets, minus one, there you go. And the gain in dollars, that's going to be equal, so to open the calculation, the actual price minus the average, so actual minus average times, so the star, the quantity, there you go. Same thing here, so equal, open, actual minus average times the quantity. Was it the right one here? Yeah, good. Perfect. Now, starting to take shapes. Holdings. Holdings is going to be the portfolio value out of the total. So we're going to be needing to add a total line here. It's here. Total equal the sum worth what's above. Has it done it? No. Sum. There you go. And you select all all the ones you'll need equal. So you know that the total of your investments right now is here. We want to know how much this is out of here. So equal the value of your coin divided by the total. Same thing underneath. Total value of your coin, so here, divided by the total. And you can hear I'm heavily investing in Bitcoin here for this example, of course. So here, just to show you for the colors, how to do it, basically what you're going to be doing is some conditional formatting. Highlight cell and rules, and rules sorry, highlight cell rules, and you're going to want to do greater than, so you can pick all this, style classic, blah, blah, blah. Cell value greater than zero. So if it's greater, you're gonna put it green, click okay, there you go. And if you want it to be red, it's going to be same thing, highlight cell values less than zero, and you want it in red, okay. And now, if we put, for example, the value, the average buying price at uh, 70,000, which we know is higher, there you go, you get it in red. And now, let's see how to do a natural pie chart out of those numbers. So I've purposely put the holdings close here to make it quite easy. So all you need to do is basically pick these four, click onto insert, click look for the pie chart, there you have it, and boom. Then you can put it in a bit in style, so you can add labels to make it more clear. Uh, let's go into format data labels to make it look better. So we would like, let's move this series name, no, not obviously, category, yes. So do you know which coin it is? Percentage, we already have it. And legend, the color, so that you can match it at the bottom. So here it's in a really simple example. Oh, and wait, let's get those numbers out of there. So format data labels, put it outside. There you go. Quite clear like that. So here, as you can see, is with a super simple example. Basically, once you can add in more coins, this is what it could look like. And again, I just wanted to see quickly um, what I was earning or losing uh, in a simple dashboard on Excel. So this is what I've done. But as we've seen before, you can use much more data from here or from other websites. 
Yeah, so uh, basically that's it, guys. I hope it was helpful uh, that you fully understood how to do it. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Always happy to help. Talk to you soon, guys.